Hi Capricorn, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by. And um, if you are new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is there, so please do go check that out. Tons and tons of stuff. And uh, before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation towards the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. And thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is for Capricorn, the first half of August. Hope everybody's doing well. August already. Wow. Okay, so with this deck here, we may get a sign, element, or planet energy, and we'll see how that um, ties in with your reading. And if you don't, for some reason, resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus, so the rest of the reading may resonate for you. Um, I guess you would know that by the title. If you clicked on it, then there's probably something in here for you. All right, for Capricorn, what, what may be around Capricorn in their energy for the first half of August? The sun. The sun's been coming out a lot, and I know we're in Leo season. So sun has been coming out in almost every reading. So this is um, being true to who you are. Uh, this is your identity. This is your soul passion, your soul purpose. Um being you just being you this is leo energy but the sun is all about your identity and who you are and your individuality and being true to yourself all right so and being very fiery and passionate uh ambitious energy so let's see what's going on with you capricorn Let's get a main message here for you, Capricorn. See what's going on for you. First half of August, Spirit, please thank you so much. One card for Capricorn. All the decks are listed below, too, also, if you're interested in that. And they all have been pre-shuffled and cut and meditated on off-camera. All right, so for Capricorn, what is needed for Capricorn here for the first half of August, Spirit, please? And we have one card, and I think that's your card. And we have Igniting Courage. Wow. <laughs> I am strong, valiant, and courageous. And the sun is all about that determination, that uh, strong, courageous, brave energy. And it's fire, so igniting courage. Wow. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. All right. And under that, we have Manifesting Dreams. My dreams are coming true. Wow. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. So, wow. So I feel like, Capricorn, you're in this energy of being very courageous and brave and going after what you want and just telling people like it is and telling people, you know, your life's passion, your purpose, and really communicating your hopes your dreams your wishes and how you're moving forward here wow manifesting dreams my dreams are coming true and you're feeling very you know victorious that reminds me of the six of wands energy <clears throat> of being very um successful and victorious all right so let's see what's going on with Capricorn and the sun in the tarot um, in astrology it's a little different but in the tarot it does mean success and victory and growth expansion happiness and joy fulfillment enlightenment happy home and family children it's like the most positive card in the deck it's also a very fiery passionate energy so all right so what's going on with Capricorn why are they sitting in this energy please spare can we have some cards, one or two cards to clarify for Capricorn. Sitting in this energy, what's going on within the first half of August? Spirit, please, Scarlet's 
way too much, but I feel like those, let's see what we have here. So we have the Five of Cups and the Four of Swords. So, okay, so we have uh, Water Energy and Air Energy. So I feel like, you know, you did a lot of thinking and contemplating here about what you wanted to do going forward. What was your sole purpose? Your sole mission is with the sun energy. Um, what's your true identity? What's um, authentic to you? Really thinking and contemplating. And the five of cups, that's sadness, loss, hurt. So, you know, maybe you had to, uh, with the sword energy ha here, had to cut away people, places, things that were no longer serving you so that you could move on to the direction that you wanted to go on in, onto. And, you know, maybe some people were hurt. Uh, sad over that or you are feeling sad um, inside because you felt like you weren't living out your soul purpose your mission before whatever this is that you're uh, manifesting so a couple different things there so let's see uh, what other energy is around you so we have the nine of wands we have the, wow <laughs> The sun twice. Wow. So, you know, wounded worry here, fire energy in Leo, fire energy again here with the sun. So, you know, being a wounded warrior, so maybe whatever you went through in the past here was very hurtful and painful. You had to heal from it and think and contemplate, okay, where do I go from here? You know, and now you're in this, you know, igniting courage, like you're, you're the wounded warrior, but you do have that... Um, inner strength and courage here to go on and fight for what you want because you have again success victory happiness joy again with the sun energy wow so you're leaving the sadness hurt behind you know maybe you were on a pause on a break here things were kind of slow stagnant you didn't know what was going to happen where do i go from here but you kept fighting and fighting and now you're heading to your success and victory and happiness the sun energy twice. Wow. So let's see what your actual situation is. So we have the two of cups, the two of swords. Wow. And the queen of cups. So we have water, air, and water. Two of cups. So here coming into alignment, um, like with your sole mission, your sole purpose, what you really want to do here. Um, coming together with your hopes, your dreams, uh, and manifesting those moving forward. It could also, you know, maybe you're going into a partnership with somebody also, or somebody's helping you along the way, uh, kind of energy, giving you a lot of love and support, a very close friend or family member that you see eye to eye to, maybe even a mentor or something like that. And in the middle of your spread, we have the two of swords here. So this is kind of an energy of being like, um, not sure, indecisive. So maybe, you know, you were very indecisive. What direction do I want to go in? What do I do? How do I get there? You know, and maybe you came along this friend, an old friend, a mentor, um, could even be a parent. It could be anybody here that really helped you, very loving, compassionate energy, help you make these decisions moving forward. Because now we have the Queen of Cups. So this is you just absolutely being in total in a total loving, compassionate energy, like totally in love with life yourself, um, moving forward in what you truly want to do here and just being so in tune and in touch and, and just in love with the world and where you're going and you have all this to offer in your cup here to the world moving forward now in your new um, endeavor here, whatever you're going for. So let's see what your advice is. Doesn't look like you need advice, but let's see what the advice is. So we have the Six of Cups and the King of Swords. Wow, so we don't have any Earth energy yet, which is your energy, but we have Water again and we have King of Swords. So I definitely feel like here, the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups, you definitely could be relying on a uh, old friend or, because this is somebody from your past this memories of the past, thinking back on the past, past um, relationships, 
from your childhood, people people you've known for a very long time. So it could be family, old family friends here, helping you to see truth, clarity, uh, King of Swords energy here. So it could be you know a father figure or something like that. Somebody who's very wise and noble, has a lot to give, is very smart, business-minded even, um, has truth, clarity, uh, a lot of wise advice to give. And it's somebody, I'm feeling like a father figure or a fatherly mentor, grandfather even, somebody here who is really, really helping you transform into the person that you want to be. In a very loving, compassionate energy. Wow. Your advice is to really listen to this person, what they have to say, how they can guide you, how they can mentor you, uh, their, the advice they have to give you. They have a lot of truth and clarity and a lot of wiseness about them. Wow. Okay, so let's see what your outcome will be. So we have the Three of Swords. So again, this is um, air energy. Oh, so this is, you know, a lot of pain and heartbreak and sorrow. Painful, something painful here. Hmm. I don't know. Let's, let's get one more. I don't know why that energy is here. So, confusion. So, I mean, I feel like if you don't listen to this person and take their advice, you may end up very confused and you may end up down a road that you don't want to be in. And you may feel very disappointed and heartbroken and uh, be in a very painful place. I feel with the sword energy and this person is swords. So they could be an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or could be two people here that are helping you along the way because we do have the Queen of Cups. So it could even be like a mother and father uh, energy here of a water sign and an air sign but it doesn't have to be but you know I feel like if you don't heed their advice their wise guidance that you'll end up very confused and heartbroken and sad and lonely and just not in a good place Wow that's a big message so let's see what other energy here. So the Eight of Pentacles. So here is your energy. So this is listening to their advice. This is taking their advice, doing the hard work, putting in the dedicated effort for your stability, your growth, your expansion, your success, long-term investment here for the future. That's your energy, Earth energy. Seven of Swords. So this is, you know... Kind of a deceitful energy, uh, kind of a trickster trying to, you know, get away with something, trying to sneak away. I don't know why that's here, ear energy here. Maybe you think, you know, maybe you think you know it all. Maybe you think you can do it on your own and you, you know, maybe don't think you need their ad advice here, but <coughs> sorry, but I really think. You should listen to what they have to say. And don't do anything that you'll regret later to try to get ahead. The world. So again, uh, earth energy. So this is your energy. So this is about, you know, closing out chapters and starting new chapters. A uh, whole new world, a whole new adventure, a uh, whole new cycle in life for you. That's a good energy. The Knight of Swords. So this is somebody, you know, rushing in. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just had this weird message with the Seven of Swords energy. If you try to do things on your own or do things you may regret, then you may be rushing back to these people saying, help, help, you know, I got myself into a situation here and I don't know how to get out of it. Something I shouldn't have done that I thought maybe I could get away with it or do it, it would work. And now, you know, rushing in for help and guidance, like help me get out of this mess kind of energy. The Knight of Swords air energy is kind of just like rushing in, causing havoc and commotion and trouble with the things they do and say, with because they do it without thinking. So don't do something without thinking that you think that will work or you could get away with because you want to, you know, you want this, you know, whole beginning faster 
that how it's coming because the pentacle energy here is a very slow moving steady slow progress energy patient energy so you need patience and time and the dedicated effort and hard work moving forward in whatever you're doing here so there you have the six of wands so there you have success and victory as with here i said this reminded me of the six of wands wow i said this card reminds me of the six of wands usually in the other tarot decks you see this with the man on the horse with the flag with the uh wreath around it getting all the accolades and the attention from everybody um because they've been triumphant they've been successful so in the long haul the law in the end in the long run you will be successful victorious here so just keep that in mind if you're not seeing it now it's down the road all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck and that's fire energy so we have the king of wands so fire sun energy here is fire so you know this could be even somebody else in your life who's a fire sign is very fiery and passionate maybe a business owner who also has good advice to give or this could be you you know coming into that fiery um energy and now being a king and you know being triumphant and having the success and the victory and you've accomplished what you've accomplished judgment so you know final decisions here um again over here we have the twos with you making decisions right in the middle of your spread the two of swords so again, the judgment, making final decisions, Scorpio energy here. So I feel like, you know, some people around you can give you really good advice and help you make final judgment calls on things. And I think they're divinely guided to you, people around you that are meant to be in your life in this journey at this time. So you really need to listen to them because the Ace of Swords. So here's your brand new beginning, truth, clarity, the sword of victory, um, thinking with a clear mind so again here's that truth and that clarity in the new beginning and also of the people around you so we have the ten of wands uh, you know this is fire energy this is feeling very burdened uh, getting ready to lay all those burdens down like feeling overwhelmed so maybe at times you feel overwhelmed and totally burdened but the sun here is behind you you're not seeing it but in the long run the sun the success and the victory as with the six of wands over here is there for you though you may not see it now so you know patience and time is needed in whatever you're going after whatever you're doing if you're starting a business if you're you know going to school to further your education and then you know whatever you choose to do after that um, could be a new job it could be vying for a higher um, rank in your job whatever you're doing here I'm thinking it's more like starting your own business or being an entrepreneur or something like that are going to school and then becoming something after that it's takes takes time you need patience it's slow steady hard work don't try to get ahead faster than you're meant to because I I don't think that's will work for you with the three of swords and the seven of cups energy here listen to these wise people around you that can help you guide you lead you in the right direction all right so Capricorn Capricorn all right let's get some extra guidance for you for the first half of August first half of August extra guidance and advice for Capricorn first half of August spirit please can we have some extra advice and guidance for Capricorn first half of August thank you so much thank you but we got two so let me put this over here work through your fears new moon in Scorpio so that's water energy so again we have the Queen of Cups here so you could have a water sign around you also or this could be an indication of um, October into November if that means anything for you 
And if you're having any fears of like things not going in your way or this not working out for you, uh, it's just with the work with the Eight of Pentacles over here, just keep going and progressing forward, having patience, trusting, everything will be fine. Just keep putting in that dedicated effort. And then we have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces, which is, um, when is that? That's March, no, not March. That's uh, end of February into March. If that means anything, that time period, water sign again, water sign here. So, so you know, really think about things before you move forward. Um, don't do anything like I had said over here. Don't do anything without thinking first. And now we have meditate and contemplate. So really think about your actions uh, and any decisions you're making with the two swords here. <coughs> Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Scorpio again. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. So again... Heavy Scorpio energy here. If October into November means anything for you. Um, and to uh, release any negative thinking about, you know, this either not coming into fruition or it's taking too long or whatever here. Release negativity. Really think about your actions before you move forward. Work through your fears. Listen to the wise guidance counsel around you, whatever that may be, they will lead you in the right direction because you will be very successful. It's all here for you. You have the sun twice, ace of swords. So, okay, Capricorn, um, good luck to you. If this resonates for you, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments and uh, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general in love, so please don't miss out on that. And best of luck to you here in your situation, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say, as in with the sun energy here, so always, always shine your light.